Hi, I'm William Spaniel, and welcome to Sabermetrics 101. This is the first lecture in an introductory course on Sabermetrics. So let's start off at the top. What is Sabermetrics? Well, it's the statistical analysis of baseball, broadly defined. So questions such as, how much is a player worth in terms of dollars? How much does a player contribute to his team's victories? How many wins will we expect a particular team to have next year or even next week? Those sorts of numbers-based questions. That's what we study in Sabermetrics. The term was coined by Bill James. You might think of Bill James as the godfather of Sabermetrics. He's been doing this longer than anyone else has. He's been using numbers and convincing other people to use numbers to answer these sorts of questions for decades now. The word itself comes from two words, or two parts. One is Saber, S-A-B-R, the Society for American Baseball Research. The second half of it is metrics, like we're measuring something. So you cram those two things together, you add an E for the sake of making it look like a real word, and there you have Saber Metrics. You've probably heard of this before if you're a baseball fan. Saber Metrics was turned mainstream with Moneyball, the recent film, and also the book that came out in 2003 chronicling how the Oakland A's use these sorts of measurements to figure out how to put together a winning team without that much money. So that's what Sabermetrics is. And in this course, we're going to be focusing on the very basics. As I said, this is an introductory course. So what the goal for here is, is to teach you the various statistics that sabermetricians use. So if you watch enough baseball and you read enough about baseball analysis online, you'll hear all sorts of terms and anagrams and that sort of thing, which if you've never seen before, you would have no hope of figuring out what it is on your own, and it does help to have someone else guiding you through what all of these statistics mean. So in any given lecture, I'm going to give a particular term, and this is going to start with very basic things like ERA and batting average, and then it will evolve into something more complex like on-base plus slugging or BABIP Ball, batting average on balls in play, and we'll eventually get all the way up to the top with things that are excessively hard to calculate and things that you wouldn't be able to do on your own or at least very easily without a computer, like war. And in each of these lectures, I'm going to go over the motivation for why someone at some point created this particular statistic. What was the point of creating this statistic? For the more complex terms, I will use or I'll explain the derivation of those statistics. So it's something like batting average, you don't actually have to derive it, but something like Pythagorean wins or Pythagorean record, you actually need to derive what that formula is or how you get that formula using, well, some fancy statistical tools. So I'm going to explain the derivation. What I'm not going to be doing critically, and we'll get to this in a moment, is actually deriving it. Lastly, I'm going to explain the weaknesses of any given statistic. So these statistics are created to tell us something and something useful about baseball, but any particular statistic also has weaknesses. So it's important that I explain to you why we motivate these things, why we have these statistics, what they're good for, but also explain why they aren't always perfect. All right, so that's what this course will do. What this course is not going to do, as I mentioned, as I alluded to just a second ago, is teach you how to derive estimators. So for some of these estimators, you're actually going to need to learn real, hard, difficult statistics. And that's something I'm not going to be doing in this course. That is something that if you want to do, you need to learn a lot of math, you need to take a lot of statistics, and you need to be doing it at the university level. That's something that we can't very easily do very quickly online. So I'm not doing that here. Apologies. Sorry. It's something that's a worth while pursuit, and I encourage you to do it on your own. This course is also not going to claim that we know everything. This is still an evolving field. We don't know exactly what the greatest measures are out there. We have a good idea of what makes a better measure than some other measures, but we don't know everything. And certainly, I'm going to emphasize this, I am not going to tell you that Everything that you need to know about baseball can be done using a computer and using math. Baseball scouts out there are not worthless. They are very useful, and there isn't a team out there anymore that believes that you can just use statistics to figure out how to create a good team or just use baseball scouts to figure out how to put together a good team. You need both, and if you're not doing both, you're falling behind. So I'm not going to be telling you that baseball scouts are worthless. We're cool on those, all right? Now, lastly, who am I? I'm the guy who's teaching this course. My name is William Spaniel. As I said, I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Rochester. I study methods and political science there. I'm a lifelong Angels fan, hence the red there. Oh, by the way, I mentioned Moneyball earlier. Funny story about that. That book is about the 2002 season for the Oakland A's. Oakland A's lost in the playoffs that year. Angels won the World Series. Go Angels. 
Sorry about that, but I'm going to be throwing in Angels references every now and then uh, for players' sake because I'm most familiar with Angels. So that's something that you probably should know ahead of time. I'm going to be mentioning Angels players probably more frequently than most other players for the sake of illustrating examples because, again, I'm familiar with Angels players more than any other team. I'm also a ball hound. I really like going to baseball games and getting foul balls. I think the last time I missed a ball at batting practice was... Opening day 2009. You can click on the annotation on your screen to learn about how I go about doing that. And lastly, I'm the author of Breaking Balls with a Runner on Third. That is an article that was published a couple of years ago in Sabres Journal. You can click on the video description to learn more about that article and read it off my website. All right, so that's who I am. And what we'll be doing now from lecture to lecture is introducing a new statistic and explaining everything there is to know about that. So I hope you enjoy this introduction and I hope you enjoy this entire course. See you next time. Take care.